Hello and welcome. It's attorney Mark Blaine coming to you with another book review for the monthly newsletter. And for this book review, I've chosen Outwitting the Devil by Napoleon Hill. Now, a lot of you might be familiar with Napoleon Hill's prior or more famous work, Think and Grow Rich and Law of Success. Those are great books, but I think if you're familiar with those books, you're going to enjoy this book a lot more. I think uh, Napoleon Hill was a little bit more focused in what he was trying to achieve with this book. And uh, it's got an interesting, interesting backstory. This was published in 1938, about a year after Think and Grow Rich came out. But because of the title, uh, having or outwitting the devil, it was very controversial. And so his wife, Napoleon Hill's wife, Annie Lou, didn't want him to publish the book. And so it sat as a manuscript on his shelf for many, many decades. Uh, Mr. Hill passed away in 1970. I think his wife passed away in the 80s. It went to a family member of the manuscript, and then it went eventually to the Napoleon Hill Foundation. And the president there read this book and said, oh my gosh, this is a great, great book. Um, and so uh, it wasn't officially published until 2011. And once you get into the conversation with the devil, which starts, I think, in chapter three, it just throttles up and just doesn't let off. Um, the back and forth banter between Napoleon Hill and the devil it's just so creative, very, very interesting. The devil obviously is metaphorically uh, portrayed as negative thinking, drifting, or what's called hypnotic rhythm. Uh, Napoleon Hill uh, finds out from the devil that 98% uh, of the population is controlled through this hypnotic thinking and lack of focus. And so you'll learn insights into what uh, Napoleon Hill thinks is great for success and what you need to do for success. But the way he uh, concepts to the reader through having a conversation with the devil, it's just fantastic. So um, I'm going to recommend it. Uh, definitely. The other thing that's kind of neat about it is uh, Sharon Lecter. She's with the, I think she's somehow affiliated with the Rich Dad, Poor Dad series. But she loved this book and was brought in to annotate it. And so she gives her insights into each chapter, which, is, which actually works very well. I didn't think it would, but it does. So you get kind of like a lot of bang for your buck. You get Napoleon Hill's uh, lost manuscript for many decades that was just recently published. And then you get insights from Sharon Lecter and how it applies to what she uh, sees in her business life and whatnot and what you can and how, you, how it can apply to you. So if you enjoy self-improvement action books, definitely add this one to your reading list. And with that, stay strong and always keep reading. All right, take care.